is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some pretty exciting stuff going on for you if you guys did not know i do believe i want to say it's at the end of next month it may be in the middle of next month but we're not too many weeks away from san diego comic-con right we have san diego comic-con kick a carrot cake we have sdcc coming upon us man and everybody knows as a wrestling figure fan as an action figure fan as a toy fan as just an idiot you got to be excited about san diego comic-con man one year i'm gonna make it out there i doubt i make it out there this year i mean anything's possible you never know what could just drop in the lap i don't know the thing they may have even already canceled the event you know i don't know if they're doing the big time event i don't think they are but i know we are going to be getting reveals and stuff anyways next year though i'm making it a plan and a commitment that i will be there to meet everybody and all of that stuff it's going to be absolutely excellent Excellent. I can do videos live from there and upload. It's going to be excellent for next year. I can go ahead and guarantee that, speak that into existence. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into figures that I think we need updates for. Like, I went through the roster and I tried to declare some guys that we really need updates for for our WWE action figures. This is specifically WWE, you know, a lot of them, I really, you know, uh, to be honest with you, the list isn't entirely long because there's not a ton of guys that need a specific update, but uh, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you disagree or if you think we need an update of a certain guy. I do have my list here. I'm going to run through it, tell you why, and tell you, you know, when their last elite was and all of these different things, and just tell you my reasoning behind why we need these figures in updated form. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, guys, and get started with my list of WWE action figures or elite figures that we need updated. Starting out first, guys, I'm going to start off with Alexa Bliss. This list is kind of in alphabetical order, but she is one of the ladies that uh, isn't necessarily updated. And I know you'll say, well, we got the Elite 82. Well, the Elite 82 isn't necessarily updated. Like, yes, it is a great figure as far as posability, and it looks like her and all of these things, but it's not her current gimmick, right? It's not, you know, it doesn't like up with television we want like you know our fiend alexa bliss we want the dark side of the alexa bliss figure you know we want it updated and i think for some reason something's telling me in my brain that we're going to get an ultimate edition either revealed or you know like a prototype type deal at san, san diego comic-con i feel like we're going to see a render of an updated alexa bliss ultimate edition you know fiend style so like maybe an interchangeable head with like her darker makeup and then her lighter makeup and you know what i'm saying back and forth we could have cloth goods go over the figure i think it could be really really sick and i think it would look excellent so i think uh we definitely need an updated alexa bliss we haven't seen anything about one we haven't had an announcement or anything like that i think it's pretty uh you know like you can kind of just see it coming from a mile away so i'm gonna just go ahead and just put that out there that an ultimate edition alexa bliss in the fiend gimmick you know the, or the dark side gimmick whatever you want to call that i think that is something that we're going to be seeing very soon but that's a figure we need like we got to update that you know it's been you know it, it, she's been doing this for a little bit now so we definitely need the update next up guys we have a full faction i'm getting into the hurt business now i will say bobby lashley as wwe champion i think it was leaked out or something that either elite i want to say elite 89 it may be elite 88 but i think it's elite 89 we're getting bobby lashley I would guarantee that he's going to come with the WWE Championship and he'll probably, or not the WWE Championship, he'll probably have the United States Championship and be in his Hurt Business gear. And not only just Bobby Lashley, like, you know, his first Elite was superior. It was an Elite, elite it was in Elite Series 69. It was a very great figure. Everybody wanted to, you know, that figure is very sought after. So we definitely need a new Bobby Lashley, but I bet they'll paint the legs black. You know, he'll have his black boots on there. Hopefully the strapped version with the Hurt Business in black and gold really sick figure. I hope we get like a pissed off Bobby Lashley head sculpt. But not only him, guys, we also need MVP. We also need Shelton Benjamin. And we also need my boy Cedric Alexander. Now, I know that Shelton Benjamin has Elite 63, which if you put it in the white, black, and gold, or the gold standard, really either one can really work for an updated Shelton. But I think an updated Shelton in her business gear would be really sick, as well as Cedric Alexander. Now, to be fair with you, like if they do a Cedric Alexander in her business gear, I will probably make a custom where, you know, I'll, I'll paint over the Hurt Business part to make it where he's in singles action so I can use him in the pick pet that way. You guys know he's a big part of MDT Live. He's been building his resume there. So I think that Cedric Alexander, I'd probably, you know, customize it a little bit, fix it up a little bit. But Cedric Alexander and the Hurt Business and everybody involved there, I know we're getting an updated MVP 
but I think, you know, a full hurt business set definitely need that and you know I'm surprised I know that like things have changed you know they're not all together and everything like that but I still think we need the figures at least so I don't know they may not do it but I think it would still be cool and hopefully we do get that next up is going to be Cesaro man Cesaro is one that we we haven't had an elite Cesaro since elite 58 and before that it was elite 47 I, I think it was straight up elite 47 not elite 47.5 but both of those Cesaro figures were, were great I really enjoyed the elite 47 I thought it was excellent I thought it's Elite 58 figure was also excellent, but I don't think they've made a bad Cesaro. Like, the Elite 33 wasn't my favorite, but it still was really damn good. He has really good head sculpts. The Elite 23 was also really good. So, Cesaro, you really can't go wrong with it, so I know an updated figure of him would be fantastic. I would love to see what they could do with the true effects, and what they could do with, you know, interchangeable hands, and maybe a cool cloth goods entrance coat, or something like they did for Matt Riddle. So, I think that would be really cool to see, and Cesaro is one of those guys that we gotta have an update for, man. He is just beloved by the fans. His figures kick ass. He's kick ass. I would love to see a Cesaro. I think a lot of people would like to see that as well. Hopefully, we get one revealed to us at San Diego Comic Con. So, and I will make a separate video closer to Comic Con talking about the figures I hope we see, you know, a long list and, you know, breaking it down and all of those things because I do have a lot of figures that I want to see. But Cesaro has to go on our updated list. We really need an updated Cesaro figure. And he was my next one that I had to mention. I, I would love to see him in the black and yellow gear with an entrance, you know, jacket thing like we saw when he took on Seth Rollins. Maybe Maybe a yellow sleeve would be really sick AF, but Cesaro's the next one, guys. Next up, we have both Jimmy and Jay Uso. The last Uso figures that we got were Elite 64, and before that, it was Elite 54. We are up to Elite Series 87 now. I think it is about time for some Uso figures. I don't know when exactly we're getting them. I know we have battle packs coming and stuff, but since these guys have been a big part of storyline and television, I know that Jay has been way more relevant than Jimmy over the past year or so, you know, since Roman Reigns and he was injured and all that, but we really need both of them together, I think. You know, you could even just update the head sculpts and make it where one of them's not yelling. We don't need the yelling. We just need them to be good and determined and pissed off and stuff. Give them updated haircuts, some good true effects, good beards, great jacket accessory, great shirt accessory, hats, you know, Pair them with things like that. Make our Usos look fire. We still don't have elites of them in black gear. I would really, really like to see black gear. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind for another white gear like that battle pack that we got the one time with the all white. That would be absolutely sick. But it wouldn't necessarily be updated, would it? So I would say, you know, give them the all black gear, you know, give them the white sleeves and stuff and just let us go wild with the fix-ups. But updated Usos are something we gotta have. Gotta go next to our Elite 87 Roman Reigns we have coming soon. So the Usos are definitely up there for me. And that is who I would choose and I would put on my updated list. Next up, guys, we are gonna be talking about a former Intercontinental Champion. We're talking about Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has not seen a figure since Elite Series 63. Again, we're at Elite 87 now. I think it is about time he got an update you know he's had the long hair for a while he's been rocking those camo or green cargo type pants for a while and it wouldn't even be a hard update man just updated head sculpt you know his head sculpts have been fantastic to this point you just gotta you know give him some more hair you know it'd be the same formula change up the pants maybe give us a new pant mold you know kind of like some sergeant slaughter kind of deal where it could be like kind of baggy but also the tight mold uh give us some cool new sculpts you could throw in an intercontinental championship maybe a jacket or shirt with the hat there and that would be a beautiful figure and i know a lot of people would love to see this i've seen a lot of people plug in Sami Zayn and say they really want to see an updated figure of him so Sami Zayn is one of those guys that needs an update as well like i ran through the full roster man i really tried to break it down i know apollo cruz just changed gimmicks but he's also getting a figure and uh he would be one of those that you could say you know get an update for because <laughs> I mean, he's already outdated before his new figure comes, but I don't, I didn't want to do that right away. And, you know, New Day, they're constantly changing gears, but they're pretty much updated to this point. And, you know, Jeff Hardy, you know, he's pretty much updated to this point. There's a lot of people that are, you know, pretty updated. Like, you know, they could use an update, but these were the ones that I think needed the update the most. And then I also had two honorable mentions. My first one is going to be Chad Gable. You know, he he's kind of went back and forth from the singlet and the, you know, the short hair. I know we got the Shorty G basic figure, but we really need an elite. And I would like to see him in, you know, his other wrestling gear, not the free and basketball shorts even though I'd take the basketball shorts you know for different customs and making different things and maybe that figure would drop in price to where you can make other customs and stuff but that's a figure that I would like to see is Chad Gable and then last but not least this is the final one guys I know it's gonna be it's gonna sound stupid but Seth Rollins I know you're gonna say the Elite 86 is updated but it kind of isn't you know it, it does have the Monday Night Messiah head sculpt but we need a nice jacket with a
with the puffs. We need the hair down, you know, a little bit of an updated head sculpt there. I would like to see an elite of his Monday Night Messiah gimmick like the black version, not just the pink. The pink is a sick figure, and I absolutely adore it. I think it's one of my favorite figures of the year so far. I love the fix-ups I made and stuff, but I really want to see his Monday Night Messiah gimmick in black and silver and stuff because it really fit that era of, you know, Seth Rollins and that gimmick of Seth Rollins with a cloth jacket and stuff. But, yeah, that's just a little honorable mention I would throw in there. But I think that does it for my list, man. I would love to know what your list is down in the comment section below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I will, uh, you know, I would like to discuss it with you down in the comment section below. If you guys disagree, let me know. If you guys agree, let me know. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to my man NLW, who says, Oh, man, it's great to see that arena again. Looking so clean. Looking forward to the return. No Limits Wrestling on our video yesterday about the PickFed Arena, guys. Yes, the PickFed Arena did return, which is awesome news for you guys. But a huge shout-out to NLW. He always makes great pick fed and stop motion content. Very creative guy over there. Always on the grind. Like his work ethic is absolutely insane. So you got to tip your hat to the guy right there. But uh, very creative individual and, you know, always enjoy to see him working hard over there and putting in the work for the community there. But a huge shout out to NLW for that, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what figures you would love to see updated down in the comment section below. Do you agree with my list? Would you add to it? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. <sighs> Thank you, and don't cross the line. You cross the line, I've been